Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be having a versus. The Apple AirTag versus the Eufy Security Smart Track Link. So just to start, AirTag has a way better name. Not gonna lie. Smart Track Link is a really long name. So first point goes to Apple just for the name. Yeah. Okay, second point. Both of these are rechargeable, so there's no difference there. I haven't really got to test their limits of how long they'll last, so I can't do that one either. But they both work off the exact same battery, the 2023, the CR2023. I think that's what it is. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, CR2023. All right, now I'm going to go on to size. So they are pretty much the exact same size. You can see though that the Apple AirTag is slightly smaller, given that it is a circle. So it is slightly smaller. So there's a point to the AirTag. Now I'm gonna go on to weight. So the two pretty much have the same weight. The AirTag is just slightly heavier. I don't know where to see their exact weight. It does feel like the AirTag is slightly heavier, and that's probably because there's more to the AirTag than there is with this, the Eufy Smart Track. So I'll give the point to weight to the Eufy Smart Track. And this next one is pretty simple. The Eufy Smart Track has this right here. So I can just stick this on a keychain whenever I want. Easy. Apple AirTag, on the other hand, you have to get a third party accessory or an Apple accessory to make it work at all, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, yeah. So there's a point for UV right here. So on the box, this is just my personal opinion, but the UV one actually gave it a bit of protection. It had this big old thing it came in, which gave it nice protection, while the Apple one came in this, which didn't serve very much protection at all because i mean it has some protection but it is the plastic i mean the air tag touching up against the wall which then touches against the box so this one doesn't have very much protection so that was just something that i noted which was interesting to me all right so for ease of use each of these work really well but it depends on what you're using if you're using apple the Apple AirTag will be easier to set up than the, the Smart Track Link. And that's because all you do to set these up is you just take off the wrapping and you put it close to your phone and it just automatically connects. It'll ask you to update to the latest iOS, but it just works. It works really well, actually. Now for this one, so for ease of connect on iPhones, this one wins just because you don't really have to do anything and it automatically happens. It's like the QI, I think, I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. But for Android, you can't use this at all. AirTags don't work on Androids whatsoever, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, I don't think they do. But this works and it won't have access to Apple's Find My Network, but it will work on the Eufy Securities Network. Uh, I don't know how exactly theirs works because I'm pretty sure that this mostly leverages that. And I think it might work off the same kind of dealio where it'll use the other apps, but I don't really know. So if you're an Android user, this will work as a Bluetooth 5.0 locator. So it has up to 262 feet, 80 meters on Bluetooth 5.0 and Literally all modern phones support Bluetooth 5.0. And Bluetooth 5.0 enables automatic connecting, so you'll basically connect to it when it's in range, and it works really well, I was finding out, which is cool. So for connectability, this one wins, just because it can actually connect to Androids, while this one cannot. While for Apple connectability, this one is easy, but it has a couple more steps than this does. Though with the app, we get some really cool features. So the AirTag is an all-in-one device. It doesn't have anything else with it, no buttons on it, 
and it just, you put it in somewhere and it starts tracking immediately. This on the other hand, it's got a button on it. And depending on what you do, it can do a couple things. So to connect this, you just hold it and then it'll start the connecting process. But if you double click this, it'll show you where, where your phone is. So depending on, no, I don't have it set up. So uh, when you have this on, it'll make this really loud noise on your phone if you've got the app going. And it does also do it to any phones that are connected through the app, which can be annoying. Say you have two people connected to the same Eufy security app. If you double click this, they'll both get an alarm on their phones, which can be kind of annoying, but it wasn't really designed to have multiple people using it like that. So that is something that I really, really like about this because you can also have it linked to not just your Apple Find My, but also to Eufy so that you can have it linked to both, which is super cool. So you can link this to Apple's Find My Network, as it says there, and it works really well. It just does. It's not as good as the AirTags, but it just works really well. And it uses the Bluetooth systems, uh, the, Blue, the Find My Network's Bluetooth network, whatever it is. It's Apple's proprietary network deal that they got. So this one has more features on the surface and it has more features you can use with your phone. It also has a QR code on the back so that if somebody were to scan that QR code, it would give you all the person's information so you could return it to them or return any lost items, which is really cool. And I think the Apple's one has that feature too, but it only works on iPhones again, which can be kind of annoying. So that's with that. I think that, yeah, see QR code finder finds you. Alarm, easily find your phone, it works that fine man. All right, so now we'll do a test of their audio. So, or we'll do a test of the noise they can do. So for this, I'm gonna have to switch over to my other phone. So say goodbye to good audio as I have everything set up on the phone that I'm recording with and nothing wanted to set up as easily on this phone because why would it? It just, it never, nothing ever happens perfectly for me. Okay, so let's switch to this phone. So say goodbye to good audio. Sorry about that. All right, as you can see, audio is not as good. Same video quality, but it's the best I can do for now. All right, so I'll open the Find My app on my phone because I have it set up with the Find My network right now. And we can see all the devices on there. So let's just click the AirTag for starters. And here's what it looks like. So let's have it play a sound. Yeah, so it plays a couple sounds, which is pretty cool. And it works fairly well. But this is something that the AirTag has and the AirTag has alone. So we'll just set this over here. I'll move back a little bit. So now we click Find Nearby. So it's got this big old thing, and the closer you get to the air tag, it works best if it's flat, as you might imagine. Oh wait, I grabbed the wrong air tag. I was like, why is this not working properly? This isn't the air tag that's connected to my phone that I'm doing this. This one is as a is a four pack. So the closer you get to the phone, it'll show exactly how close you are in the area that it's at, which is really cool. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Then you can just click, make the sound. See, now it's actually making the sound where it's supposed to. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. As of where the, let's see, where's it? Okay, I had that labeled as keys, I think. Yeah, okay, so now this is the Eufy Smart Track Link. I'll play the sound. As you can hear, this one is 
actually a little bit louder in my opinion, but I've not really gotten any real, real world tests, so I can't really tell for sure. The directions though, this doesn't have that. This just allows you to play a sound with it, and then it gives you a GPS location. It has the same notify when found and notify when left behind. It shows the app down there, yeah. So this has more features on the Find My than this does. And you'd expect that because this is more expensive and this is by Apple. But you can't just call it quits there. Let's move on to the Eufy Securities app. And I'll get to show you some of the cool things that it can do. So I'm gonna switch back to their camera. All right, so now I'm on the Eufy app and you can click find. So it'll show you where it is on the map and its location right here, but I have that blocked for privacy reasons. So you can have it set to find the phone, which is one of the, this, that's where this thing really shines. So we got the same thing, it makes the sound, yeah. But this is where it gets cool. So hopefully it doesn't mess everything up because my phone is connected to the same network, but it should not do this, hopefully. So if I double tap this, Yeah, okay, it worked perfectly. So this is now playing a song. And let's just make it stop. Okay, okay getting it to stop though. I just have to go like this. You just have to click the notification and then it stops, okay. So now we're back but it works really well and it won't stop until you find it. The phone doesn't have to be on also, which is really cool. So I can show you from here. It tells you that it got sent. So now this will just keep making that. Oh, it's too low. That'll just keep making that sound until this is found, which is really cool. I don't know why the Apple AirTags don't have an option like that, because that is just really, really cool. So actually, you know what? I can just do an audio test. I didn't think about that until now, but let me get the decibel app out. Okay, so that is why I wanted to test it. That is a very unexpected result. So it was actually louder. So here we'll go back to the, the Eufy one. And as you plainly noticed, the AirTag was louder than the, than the Eufy one which is different than what I thought it was gonna be. So that's interesting. So they must use a specialized sound. Okay, cool little test, really cool. All right, so let's go back. So here's where that sound test really plays out. So I got both the AirTag and Eufy Smart Track, and I'm going to bury them under a fair amount of clothes. So it's an unreasonable amount of clothes, but We'll just say it's there for testing purposes. All right, so now I'll play the, I'll play the, the, the Eufy. I mean, you can barely hear it, but you can still hear it. So now I'll play the, um, the AirTag. And honestly, I think, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but you can kind of hear the AirTag a little bit better. It's something about that sound, it's just able to travel farther, I don't know. But that's not the only thing that the AirTag has that's more dominating. Say you were to come into an area, but you couldn't hear it even though you played it, right? Well, with the, 
with the um, the Yuffie one, you just have a general area, but you can't find it exactly. So you know it's somewhere in this area, but you're not really sure where. Well, with the Apple one, you can go a step further. So you click Find, and it'll tell you exactly where to look. so you'd know exactly where it's at. Yeah. So the AirTag is definitely dominant on precise tracking. So that is something that's for sure. But given you're probably not gonna have this big of a pile of clothes buried under keys, you're probably just gonna have it like a pants pocket or something. So that's not a reasonable thing, but I guess if it was stuck in a laundry basket, then you might have a little bit of trouble finding it. But the AirTag and the Eufy thing do have precise tracking. It's just this has better precise tracking than this does. So this will give you a general area. Like this will tell you where it is in your house but this will give its exact location. Which, I mean, is kind of nice, but then again, you are paying double, so what do you expect? Okay, so that is, let's see, anything else? I think we covered everything that I can think of. Uh, so we got the tracking. Yeah, okay, so overall, for general tracking, the AirTag wins, just because it has more tech in it than this does but for how expensive it is and its availability to the wider market i'd say this wins overall because i mean literally this comes pre-done with a keychain in it and this one you have to buy something else so you've got to add an additional five to ten dollars to this which makes it i think close to about twice this thing's price and this is only a one pack, so it'll get better priced with a four pack, I think. Don't quote me on that one. Okay, so honestly, if you have Apple, then you should probably go for an AirTag, just for the price. But if you don't, this is probably your only option. Because, oh, there's another thing. So a lot of the new, like Tile, Tile's another big one. So tiles only problem is the well they have a couple problems with the, i say they're problems tile you have to pay if i remember right don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure tile has a monthly fee and it doesn't have a replaceable battery well both of these have replaceable batteries and both of these have no monthly fees which are really cool okay so i think that covers about everything um I don't know how exactly this works. So Apple AirTags, when they were first coming out, a lot of people were doing stuff they weren't supposed to with them, like uh, stalking other people. Well, Apple's introduced some new measures to that. So any phones, any iPhones can track these and you'll get an alert if somebody's nearby you, which is good for safety. For this one, I don't know exactly how that works. So. It's a little bit interesting on that, but then again, it is connected to Apple's Find My Network if you're doing it that way. So it probably does have that same thing. That's how it's able to work on the wideband. While only in short range is it able is it able to work with the UV app. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it, how it goes. Okay, well, I think that covers everything. I don't think I see anything else. So yeah, they're pretty evenly matched, but honestly, to get the most bang out of your buck, I'd go for the Eufy Smart Track Link. It's basically a cheaper version of the AirTag with a little less features, but it certainly delivers. So if I'd if you are on a budget and you're not an Apple only person I go for this it just really works I, I really like it and you don't have to have the UV security app to connect it to Apple's find my system so that's something else to consider 
All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll certainly make more of them. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, because I love answering your guys' questions with these. I'll make a whole video just to answering your guys' question. I've done it before, and I will do it again. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Until then, bye!